And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. And I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Arsenal up against West Ham United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And a look at the West Ham 11. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you, Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Dagny Brinjars dot here. We're getting the ball forward. And space to cross it. Magnificent defending. Laura Wienreuter. On to Ford. Well, very effective play in possession. Mornum. Stina Blackstenius. And snuffing out the danger. Viviana Sey. take the lead here oh a vital piece of last ditch defending Ford and they need to get tighter but the danger averted for now this is for Alan Rose that's Alan Rose please can you come to reception your wife is waiting for you, thank you. Dagny Brinjars dot here. Top class defending. Caitlin Ford. Stina Blackstenius. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. It has to be! to what it means well here's the replay and it's a really inviting ball played into the box begging players to attack it and then the finish is fairly simple in the end that's a good goal
And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Evans. Perfect tackle. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Katie McCabe. Now Blackstenius. Just the challenge that was required. Hayashi. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. And so they begin the second half. Arsenal hold the advantage presently. Well read to put an end to that attack. This is looking threatening. Velti. Pelova. Plenty of options, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Risa Shimizu. Honoka Hayashi. Dagny Brinyar's dot here. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Getting forward. This could square the game. Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. McCabe. Catley. Casey McCabe. Steph Catley. Leah Velti. Every pass hitting its target. Options in the centre. High quality defending. And strong play here. 20 minutes to go in this one. Hayashi. Brinyar's Dottir. And West Ham in a position of menace. Well, threat over for now. So the final whistle fast approaching. It's Arsenal with a narrow lead in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Blackstenius. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Five minutes to go. Possession lost by Arsenal. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. A corner then, and with time running out, They've got to ask questions. Who can they pick out? And it's in! The equaliser! A goal to 2-1! 
change the equation and stun the crowd. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes.